The launch points that flank the lake's border outside Las Vegas have been decommissioned, and a single ramp is now the sole means to bring a boat into the water. Lake Mead is the biggest reservoir in the United States, a massive man-made body of water established in the early 1930s by the building of the Hoover Dam. Its surface area of 247 square miles reserves water for tens of millions of people and endless acres of agriculture in the southwest. However, it is diminishing at an alarming rate, and is presently just one quarter filled. Since 2010, the National Park Service, which administers lake access, has spent more than $40 million to keep the water available to boats. Every time the water level drops another four feet, it costs them two to three million dollars to modify the boat launch ramp. According to the National Park Service, declining water levels owing to climate change and 20 years of persistent drought have changed the park's shorelines. As Lake Mead continues to shrink, the geography and expected fall in water levels make expanding launch ramps increasingly difficult and expensive. Since 2001, a series of NPS markers have shown the shoreline at various sites, the 2021 level marker is 300 paces away from the ocean. The retreating floods leave behind bottles, cans, fire extinguishers, and other debris that made its way overboard in previous years.